A cold polar air mass is heading towards southeastern Australia and many areas for the first time in 2018 have snow on their forecast. But what is the difference between snow, snow showers and sleet? Well, snow is quite self-explanatory. Frozen crystals falling from the sky. It's a form of precipitation. However, the difference between snow and snow showers can be quite confusing, even for some weather presenters who confuse snow showers to be a mixture of snow and rain. This is not the case. The difference between snow and snow showers is very similar to the difference between rain and showers. Rain is continuous as a forecast of snow is continuous, as you're seeing here. If the forecast is for straight snow, there's a very good chance of accumulation on the ground. That snow is likely to last for at least a few hours of continuous falls. Snow showers, on the other hand, like showers, will stop and start quite quickly. As a result, you would not expect too much accumulation of snow on the ground if the forecast is for snow showers. But then what is sleet? Well, in Commonwealth nations, including Australia, sleet is partially melted snow. So if the temperature at the surface is just above freezing, the snowflakes will be melting partially before they hit the ground. It's a bit of a mixture between snow and rain. And if the forecast is for sleet, do not expect any accumulation on the ground. However, in the USA, sleet has an entirely different meaning. In the USA and in some other countries, sleet is actually partially frozen raindrops. Now this occurs when you have snow falling, which then falls into a warm layer of the atmosphere and it melts into rain. It then falls into another cold layer near the surface and the raindrops freeze into small ice pellets. And when you talk about sleet, it means they're partially frozen. So it's a precursor for freezing rain, which is actually the most dangerous type of precipitation. Now freezing rain and sleet, as they call it in the USA, mostly occurs along warm fronts. Thankfully in Australia, we don't really see warm fronts and as a result, we do not see freezing rain.